Now he's best known for hits like Mr. Tambourine Man and Like a Rolling Stone. Now you can add Nobel Prize winner to the many accolades that have been bestowed on Bob Dylan. The singer-songwriter has won this year's Nobel Prize in Literature, a decision many find surprising. David Van is an author and a professor at the University of Warwick in the UK, and he says that while Dylan's work is often poetic, it doesn't meet the standards of literary greatness. I, I think everyone's scratching their heads. I mean, I, I love Bob Dylan. I've been listening to his music since I was in high school and singing his songs, uh, partly because he has such an identifiable and unique voice. Uh, in Tambourine Man, for instance, hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, sing a song for me. In the jingle jangle morning, I'll come following you. You know, I can't sound like Dylan, but I want to try because he has such a great voice. Who wouldn't want to try? You know, so it's kind of fun. I, I, at, at first uh, hearing the, the pick sounds kind of wonderful, maybe. Um, but then it seems very strange because what book am I supposed to read of Dylan's? Uh, you know, it's a literature prize. What, what great book am I going to go out there and read? I think that his lyrics definitely are poetic. And together, his songs can be taken as a, a, a body of work of, a work of poetry, you know, a lifelong work. Um, he also has an influence on quite a few writers. Joyce Carol Oates has a very famous short story called Where Are You Going, Where Have You Been, that uses lyrics from a Dylan poem, our song. Uh, but she has 40 works that she's written, 40 books, and I don't think that can be compared. I, I translate from Latin and Old English, and I don't think he can be compared to those older poets either. He's not creating that kind of work. It's not great literary work. It's uh, poetic at times, and it's wonderful, but it doesn't uh, stand the test of, of literary greatness, in, in my opinion. I, I don't think it comes anywhere close. I think that all authors worldwide are going to be tremendously disappointed by this award. I think that uh, someone like uh, the Syrian poet Adonis would have been a great and timely pick. I think if it was going to go to an American uh, author, there are certainly others um, that, that they could have picked a, ahead of uh, Bob Dylan. So I think that it's, it's the whole literary community that will be disappointed. It's not just authors. It's also booksellers who expect to sell a lot of copies after the Nobel Prize. And what are they supposed to sell? All he has is an autobiography, and then he has songs. Uh, there's no great work that we can read. I mean, shouldn't a literary prize encourage reading in a culture where so much has been taken over by music? and TV and movies, and so few people read books anymore, shouldn't the world's greatest literary prize be encouraging us to read more? And I wish that the U.S. did have a, a greater reading culture. We have great universities and a lot of writers, uh, but we don't have a lot of readers, and we don't look outside ourselves enough, we don't translate enough. All of that's absolutely true. But it doesn't change the fact that there are a lot of great American writers, and if they were going to choose one for the first time in 23 years, they, they could have picked Joyce Carol Oates or Don DeLillo, some of the favorites, or any of a, a list of another 50 writers that I would have put ahead of, of Dylan. So, so it's a great disappointment for American literature in that way, to not be recognized for 23 years and then to be recognized for a singer-songwriter who, who doesn't have any literary works.